Hello everyone, Comrade Snake here. It has been a long time. I apologize, there's not been any uploads. If you like my stuff, it's just been, I've been busy and honestly just been kind of lazy and trying to film stuff. So I was played a couple battles from the Great Battles of Julius Caesar and didn't film them. And when I was like, all right, now that I kind of got the hang of the system, I should film some stuff. And uh, just I just never got around to it. Just didn't, didn't, ultimately didn't really feel like doing it. So I apologize for that. I, I will probably go back to that at some point and, and film some, some stuff for it um, somewhere down the road. So I got plenty more things to do in that. But I'll be um, probably doing something else. I haven't decided yet. Um, I will try to film. Uh, something for everybody. But today we have an unboxing of a new game um, that is uh, sort of part of a kind of election games, I guess you could call it. There's, a, of course, a 1960 Making of a President, which is a game I have, which is a, a pretty cool about the election of 1960. And there's a whole bunch of other games that are of that similar kind of um, gameplay. Uh, there's uh, Corrupt Bargain, I think is a more recent one. There's uh, one which I I don't remember the name of it, but there's one that's the 18, I believe it's the 1812 election, if I remember right. Um, 1812, I think, because uh, that would be the Woodrow Wilson um, split ticket uh, with the, the progressives and the uh, Democratic Party. And then there was, I think, Norman, I think the Socialist Party's in there as well as the Republican. This. Anyway, a Bull Moose, that's, Bull Moose, that's the name of the game. Yeah, so it has the Bull Moose... Uh, with Teddy Roosevelt, and then you have Woodrow Wilson, uh, and then um, I forgot who the Republican candidate was that year, and um, like Norman Thomas of the Socialist Party. Anyway, so there's a few different games like that, and this is one of a similar vein, um, Votes for Women. So this one, though, is rather than about a specific election, it is about the suffragette movement, uh, as it says, starting 1848 uh, with the... Um, uh, Declaration of Sentiments uh, in uh, New York in 1848, so that's where it starts and goes to 1920, you know, the passage of the 19th Amendment. So this is simulating a social movement and an amendment pass passage rather than a presidential election. So it's a different dynamic and kind of different goals on what you're trying to do and how the final vote ta counts are, are tallied up, or rather you're trying to win states um, and we're not for electoral votes, but each state, uh, because it's an amendment, counts as one, basically. So you actually need the majority of states, not just uh, electoral votes. So it's going to get a different dynamic on, on what you're trying to do. You have to actually spread out and try to win as many as possible um, for not rather than just strategic areas. Um, so we can see, you know, of course, map of the continental U.S. Um, since there wouldn't, there's no Alaska or Hawaii to worry about for, for this. Um, and uh, there's card play, um, so it goes one to four players. You have two suffragette players, two opposition players. Um, so let's look at the back here. July 1848 in Seneca Falls, New York. Sorry, Seneca Falls, New York. The reading of the Declaration of Sentiments has lit the spark in the fight for women's suffrage. More than 70 years, this fight would touch every corner of the U.S. and expose the power and pitfalls of a social movement. Its goal: ratify the 19th Amendment and secure for women the fundamental right to vote. So Votes for Women plays out in this exciting chapter of American history. The suffragettes organize rallies, earn support, lobby Congress, campaign across 48 states. Victory won't be easy. The opposition will leverage the power of the patriarchy to maintain the status quo. Competitive, cooperative, as well as solitaire play are possible. And a little description of all the events in there. One to four players. So about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to play. Ages uh, 14 and up, it's, uh, so there. So um, let's take a look at what is inside the box. And I is very nice. Very nice uh, art. Looks really nice. Like it a lot. All right. So we got big bag of dice. All of our rolling. We got six sided. Looks like uh, twelve sided. Um, got some eight sided dice. Got all kinds of things in there. Um, all of our wooden pieces. All colored. On all already nice and baggied. So um, these are for obviously some kind of. Game board markers of some sort. I only know a little bit about how the rules for this work. Um, I haven't, I've only I've seen a few videos, but I'm not going to do an in-depth explanation right now. Um, maybe if I, at some point, if I ever do this as like a playthrough, which I don't really plan on doing right now, but if I ever do, I'll um, definitely kind of go over that in the Senate. So we got all these different markers, game pieces, different game pieces, um, candy packet, uh, let's see, 
yeah, just all the different colors. We got orange. It looks like it's colorblind friendly for the most part, I think. I feel like you'd at least be able to tell the difference. Well, maybe not so much with the orange and the red. Not sure. I'm not colorblind myself, so I can't say for sure. But um, anyway, it looks like we got little little people for markers. Looks like um, looks like the purple and kind of yellow are the suffragettes, and the opposition are the uh, red and orange. At the very least, the orange. I don't actually see dark red in there, but maybe dark red isn't a player piece. I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, that's kind of fun. Uh, we got cards. So it looks like we have these look like state cards and some kind of event cards, maybe. The Patriarchy. Add one, whatever that guy is. I'll call him a Patriarch for now. Uh, in the South region, receive four stars, whatever that is. Add one support, which I, I believe the cube is just marking support. In each state in the Northeast region, the Atlantic and Appalachia, the South region, and the Midwest. So that's just a big, seems like a big bump. A, a term first coined in 1632, Patriarchy describes a social clerking system of political power dominated by men for their own advantage. Right. Um, and it's got this big picture of the Continental Congress. Hmm. I mean, I mean, yeah, kind of. That's fair. Uh, state cards, I guess. So let's let me just crack this open. Let's take a look. Uh, come on, where's the? There it is. Let's just crack it open on camera. That'll be fun. Yep. Transfer the sign. Ooh, the Civil War, remove uh, whatever a the white uh, cylinder is from Congress. For the remainder of the turn, the subject player may not add any um, support into the Atlantic, Appalachia, or South regions. Yeah, so you can't really organize your, your support for suffrage when half the country is out of the country. 15th Divine Suffragettes. Uh, many suffragettes objected to the amendment that protected voting right based on citizens, race, color, or previous condition of servitude, but not gender. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so there was yeah, the fight over the 15th on, uh, you know, why is it not, you know, it, it's it's stopping you from discriminating based on all these other things. Why not um, gender? Senator John, uh, Joseph Brown, Brown opposed suffrage partly because it empowered black women. He didn't see value in adding to the voting population all females of that race. I'm not going to read every card, but you get the idea. So you got these cards that do different events. Um, and it looks like it looks like the vote no. I'm guessing is signaling that this is a opposition card. Place two. Yeah, that must be what that. Um, so rather than just a rather than like a just color coded or a symbol um, of like a a little like one of the little man symbols or something, they just you got the vote no. So these must be the opposition player's hand cards. And then it looks like we have, these are the state cards. Oh, pfft, of course. Yeah, it says right there, the opposition deck. So that's the opposition deck. It looks like we have state cards. So all these different cards, looks like they're color-coded for some reason, whatever that means. Add blank to the north recent, no more than two per state. So the state cards, I'm guessing that you can, I don't know how this, remember, uh, how this worked. I don't know if I ever found out. But it looks like you can maybe get state cards and they have different effects either if you have them or you can draw them and so like add support and they look, look they work for both players um oppo bot oh, so you can have a bot play i think if you play solitaire you always play the suffragettes so then you add each so you do it effects so you can add up to six support in the midwest and all these different cards um so okay that's cool that's cool do do so we have state cards, so we have state cards, opposition cards. I'm gonna look at the rest of the box in a second. Um, looks like we have more of something here. Looks like another oppo card. Um, come on, where are you? Where is... Uh, hold on. Get my handy dandy, uh... Yeah, come on. Just do that. Good old uh, handy, handy set of. Oh, I'm forgetting the word. It's been a long day, but you know, tweezers. That's it. Uh, okay, so we got more. Oh, I see. So these are Oppo bot cards. So we have cards for the opposition bot. Okay, so that gets its own special deck. We have strategy cards. 
Efficient organizing. Receive five, whatever that is. It must be money or something. It looks like some quotes and some reconsideration. Uniquely American tactic. A motion to reconsider brings up a previously decided question. Hmm. Opposition research. Okay, so you have all these cards for kind of generic things you can do to um, affect the, the board state, possibly the other player. And now it looks like we have the suffragette cards over here. Or suffra suff suffragist. I get, there are some men that are part of that movement, so I suppose it's suffragist rather than just suffragette, since it's the, the entire apparatus, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, this has a big fancy start on it. So this must be the first card play of the game. It's Seneca Falls Convention. So add one of each of the ladies to the uh, northeast region. So I guess that's... I'm just going to call them suffragettes. Uh, led by... Oh, I see. Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Lucretia Mott. So that must be the... That must be them. <laughs> In the Northeast region, receive two stars, whatever that is, and add two of support into New York. So that's the start of the game, I guess, always. And then we have all of the um, suffragette cards. And so they're, they're divided into, um, much like some of the, the other some of the other election games, um, well, not all, uh, not the election games, but um, there's another one that uses a card system kind of like those some of those games, uh, Twilight Struggle. You have early, middle, and late. So we have uh, property rights for women. You know, we got Frances Willard. So we have some uh, temperance movement leader. So suffrage is a powerful tool for her teetotaling cause. She famously said politics is the place for women. So you have all these uh, vindication and the rights of women. Mary Wolfenkroft's book. So you have all these different... Um, oh, I see. You can... Uh, that's how you end the Civil War. 15th Amendment to play both the Civil War is not in effect, I see. Okay. Reconstruction, um, which can do if the Civil War is not in effect and the 15th Amendment is, so you get a whole... Ah, so you can basically spread a lot of um, suffragette power um, in, in the South. Okay. So obviously, like I said, I'm not going to read every, every card, but you get the general idea. You get a lot of... And then you get the late cards. Late cards, tea parties for suffrage... There you go. Hmm. Ooh, suffragette player wins all ties during final voting. That's probably pretty good. Phoebe Byrne convinced her son, a state representative from Tennessee, to vote to ratify the 19th Amendment, the last vote needed for ratification. There you go. Um, so um, that is all the cards. And we have the rule book. Full color. Once again, that nice art. Looks like it goes to about, does it have page numbers? Um, 11, so about 12 pages of rules, so not bad at all, and it's all pretty big print. And I don't think there's any particular concepts in here that are going to be that strange. It should be pretty easy to understand um, going through everything, so we don't need to worry about um, rehashing all that. Ooh, we have the historical supplement and designer's notes. Always like designer notes in games. And a historical supplement is nice, too, in any game. So you get um, a little brief, a few pages, a few notes about languages. Hmm. Uh, the, oh, here you go. This game, was, this game uses American activist preferred label suffragists. Suffragettes was initially derived from by British activists claim as their own. Ah, I see. Ah, okay. Okay. So that's, there's actually a little explanation from that there. Um, and uh, you have a whole thing here about all the historical historical context of different things. Historical documents timeline. Oh, there you go. Nice timeline there, too. All that. Well, that's cool. All that. What's this guy? Um, postal night. night informed, informed the parade committee strongly urged colored women not to. Not, so this must be a um, historical telegram. That they put in that's so cool they put these oh yes they have other things in here state of tennessee and mccann county so 1919 so this is all these oh this is the one from the burn that they're talking about so this is the the, the deciding vote there you go that's cool they have these little oh this is awesome oh it's in spanish and uh, a spanish pamphlet about suffrage um when the constitution switched my disapproval of the women's suffrage to federal amount 
Which form is declared in favor of state action to give this a... Yeah, it's a whole... So this is something about against women's suffrage, signed by Wallace Lease something? I'm not sure. I can't quite read the signature, but... Or Wallard. Wallard something. Wallard Ellis Lease. Specimen balance. Women's suffrage. They have one. That's, that's pretty cool. They always little... Oh, you're going to sign a little ballot yourself. Well, there you go. Another thing... So they just... They put in a lot of these... Uh, Fun little historical copies of historical documents. That's awesome. Oh, what's this? This is pretty cool. Good to know if anyone that power votes defend democracy. Oh, this is an actual. Uh, yeah, that's like an actual thing about uh, a real um, political group here. A new Southern citizen make the Southern states. So this is like half this box, just all this old. Wow, <laughs> okay. No, I dig this. I dig this. I love, I mean, I have a lot of history games and stuff, so this is pretty cool. I'll definitely take a, a close look at this, but anyone can pause when I'm holding it up and read whatever you want yourself. Oh, a whole it's a news bill of the New York Times from, uh, uh, let's see, Two Cents, huh? When is this? Oh, no, from 1920. August 19th, 1920. And it's got a backside and everything. Wow. Uh, women's right, the anti-slavery bugle, women's rights convention, Sojourner Truth. There you go. And then finally, it looks like we got to the board. Decent sized board, not too small, but not it's not huge, but uh, so like my hand is decent size, but you gotta it's per, that's a that's a a good sized board. It's clear, it looks nice, and it allows you to keep it in a fairly confined space because it's not so huge. That's good. It's uh, smaller than the 1960 board, I think. Uh, and you got good spaces for all the small New England states. You got all this here. So I don't know exactly what the middle thing, like the South Atlantic, I don't quite know what that means. And I assume these states are numbered within the region so that if there is some kind of card or event that says number four in the south, and you can, you know it's Mississippi, or something like that. That's pretty cool, and then of course we have all the uh, chips, chips here for this, so we can take those out, and are used for, I presume, for marking uh, certain things. Well, there you go, that is a look at all of the material that comes in Votes for Women. And uh, thanks for watching. And like I said, I'll have something out coming up, um, hopefully soon. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, well, this is Comrade Snake, and I'll uh, catch you next time.